All right, so we got a little play breakdown here of Russell Wilson's touchdown to Cortland Sutton. An absolutely insane throw. Russell Wilson owns two of the most improbable completions according to next-gen stats in NFL history. And now this ranks number one over his throw to Tyler Lockett in a very similar fashion to this one in 2019 into the back of the end zone. It was the most improbable completion at the time, and now this one officially overtakes it. This is insane stuff right here from Russell Wilson. So the play design for the Denver Broncos on this one, you'll see right here we're going to be in an offset eye to the right it's going to be a little bootleg and we've got little Jordan Humphrey and Cortland Sutton both just going to be running crossing routes into the end zone and then we've got Burton who's just going to leak into the flat and then off the boot same for Javante he's going to leak into the flat and you'll see here Russell's going to take the snap and Pretty much both of these reads are covered. Javante is 100% covered right there. And then Burton, you got 90 in the way right there. I believe that's Shaq Lawson, and that muddies up the window. And even then, it's really well covered. This is great defense by the, by the Bills right here. He can't even really squeeze this into the end zone to Sutton either because there's a chance that it would get intercepted. This is just great defense right off the bat from the Buffalo Bills. And you'll see right here that Shaq Lawson's going to be flying into Russell Wilson's face. His initial read was not there, so he knows that he's going to have to go into play creation mode. And this is a play that Russell Wilson would not have been able to make last year. He shed 15 pounds in the offseason in order to be able to make defenders miss just like this. Just like he did for all of those years in Seattle. I mean, this is vintage Russ right here. Being able to spin out of the pocket. And at this point, he's just like, alright, I'm just going to launch this one up into the back of the end zone here to the pylon. Cortland Sutton's got a step right here. Let's give my guy a chance to make something happen here. It's fourth down. Russell took a lot of crap for taking sacks on fourth down, especially in the first matchup against Kansas City. So on this one, you know he's going to want to give his guy a chance, and he does just that. He lobs that one up, and Cortland Sutton is able to come down with it. And the angle from this side here really does it justice. This is just incredible, first of all, by Russ to be able to avoid Shaq Lawson. Just makes that little hesitation move right there and put Shaq Lawson on the spin cycle. That's vintage Russ. Lobs that one up and Sutton with the incredible, just incredible toe tap catch. I mean, this is vintage Russell Wilson right here. I, I I know I've gotten labeled as a bit of a Russell Wilson hater recently, but I just want to make it clear. I love Russell Wilson. I think financially there are some discussions that are going to need to be had in the future, but we can have those discussions later. This is just where I want to appreciate Russell Wilson for the awesome plays that he can still make, the off-schedule plays. This kind of stuff right here is what we absolutely love to see from our quarterback, Broncos country. I love this all across the board. This is vintage Russell Wilson. This is the Russell Wilson that the Denver Broncos traded for. This is the Russell Wilson that the Broncos gave the big contract to. And if he can harness more and more of these kind of plays throughout the season, then we could seriously have that argument about keeping Russell Wilson around. We might have to do some restructuring on his deal because his de his big money, his $50 million money, is going to really start to hit the bank soon for the Denver Broncos, and it's going to be a lot harder for the Broncos to be able to sustain this kind of winning formula. But right now, man, I have to give... Russell Wilson some love here. I will always, always give him love when he deserves it because this play was effing awesome, Broncos country. All right, guys, be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways to show your support. Helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out and helps us get seen by more and more members of Broncos country just like you and me. And until next time, guys, I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.